Hey, it's Michael from Michigan. Man, I have to keep doing videos this way. YouTube is just locking up on me and won't let me hit the record from webcam. So that's all right. I'll just keep uploading. But anyway, you guys, I had to share what the Lord was doing. He did start yesterday. Um, I'm driving down the road. Um, I had to go get some money out of the bank. And on my way back, um, my vehicle was lined up to roll over 222. And I thought that was cool. But, you know, your vehicle always has to roll over numbers. So I wasn't, you know, I was just thinking, you know. That's what it's gonna do anyway. But as it rolled on 222, because it was 32,222, um, or 32,220 miles, um, um, it, I happened to look over and the license plate that went by me had 311 on it. I go, okay, God is showing out again. And so, you know, and, and right now my vehicle's setting on 32,226, uh, uh, um, so still on 222. And then it's really funny because, um, well, yesterday when I was talking with uh, um, one of my family members that's a watcher too, and I was getting 911, rest in Psalm 911, stay in a secret place the most high, and then 731, and then, you know, 143s would pop up, you know. I'm telling you, God remembers his promises, John 14, 3. Then check this out. I wake up this morning. Because, you know, a lot of people just kind of brush off the numbers sometimes. Like, oh, I don't believe it. But God created everything. That's all. His, you know it's all his but anyway um i wake up this morning and i like to turn on christian radio and start you know worshiping god you know a lot of times i'm turning that on and I, well it's the cable music station i turn it on the first song playing is on our way it's, it's all things new it's a watcher song and if you haven't heard it before it's called all things new by nicole spornberg and the title of the cd is on our way home now this is just after yesterday with the car setting on 222, as it rolled on 222, license plate with 311 went by. I mean, there is urgency, guys. And I want to tell you something, right after this election's over, I mean, it might be locked up in court. This could be a court battle and stuff, you know. But once this is over, I expect there's going to be an acceleration. It doesn't matter what puppet the New World Order is using. But I expect, I just feel like in my spirit, there's an acceleration. You know, like I told you guys before, if you think about something, November, uh, um, if you if you take, if you if you go, okay, uh, two or Wednesday is the seventh day of the eleventh month. You know, because you, you have to see how God works; He can flip things around and do things the way He wants. But you go to Genesis seven eleven. You know, when you look at that, it's about judgment. Judgment finally poured out. Now I'm not going to say anything's going to happen. What I'm saying, I believe, is the beginning. God's starting to bring in judgment before the, you know, he's, he's kind of working us into the great tribulation, you know, so we're getting close to the great tribulation, and then, you know, because you can feel it coming, but it, it can't really take place, first you're going to have the, you're going to have the catching away, economic collapse and all that, but, but we are working our way right into the great tribulation, you know, and, you know, the king is coming soon to take his bride home, so we got to stay ready, pray for souls, today is day 13. And it's kind of funny I said judgment because 13 represents judgment. But today's day 13. I did not. I just now picked that up. But um, but anyway, we need to pray because we don't, you know, it's going to be hard knock city for people left behind. I mean, it's going to be a rough, rough time. So let's just keep praying for souls and asking God to do a mighty, mighty harvest in these final, uh, final yeah, these last days. And we just need God to pour out and do mighty, mighty things. So, Father, in Jesus' name, I ask that you would saturate us all afresh today and pour out your Holy Spirit, Father. And, Father, we bind the devil and we plead the blood against him. We bind up strife and division. And, Father, we pray for unity in the body of Christ as never before. And, and Father, we just pray that today, each and every day that we're here, Father, until we go home, that you would saturate us, pour out your Holy Spirit and saturate us afresh. And, Lord, let there be a tsunami of your flood, Father. Uh, like a flood, Father, in these last days to touch souls, Father, of your Holy Spirit. Father, just pour out, Father, we pray in Jesus' name. Pour out your Holy Spirit, Lord. Lord, just touch your family, touch your friends, bring the prodigals home, Lord. Father, do mighty, mighty works in these last days, we pray, Father. Father, help us, Lord, just to continue to pray and seek your face, because, Lord, you want to reel, in, reel these people in, Father, to the kingdom of God and to the ark of Christ. Lord, pour out your spirit and do mighty things. And Father, anyone that needs a touch of God today, saturate them with your Holy Spirit. Strengthen them today, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Just wanted to do a quick video, guys, to share what God is doing. God is just pouring out, you guys. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be his holy name. Hallelujah.
Praise the Lord. God is so awesome. So awesome. He's doing mighty things, you guys. I just can't. You know, like I said the other day, you know, glorious day. I mean, God is just keeping fuel in our in our hearts because things get ready for some more acceleration. I mean, a lot of people say, well, it's already accelerated. Oh, no. It's going to accelerate even more, you know. God is shaking America. And it doesn't matter about the puppet show, but once that's over, watch things just pick up. Because, you know, we're less than 48 hours before it gets rolling. Um, but anyway, I love you guys. Have a very blessed weekend if I don't get another video out. A very blessed weekend. The King is coming soon. Hallelujah. But pray for souls. Pray for souls. Believe God to do a mighty work. I, I still believe in a great revival, you know. We're supposed to have faith for that. Faith that God, man, He wants to. He wants to touch souls. I love you guys. God bless.